Uh, what a day. More and more souls are piling in all the time. I can't believe I'm even getting overwhelmed. Maybe it's time to think about getting an assistant. But who? My lady, there's someone here to see you. What? Send them away! I'm not going to hold an audience with a rival if they can't be bothered to send word in advance. It's not another demon lord, my lady. It's a mortal. A mortal? Why the here would a mortal... You know what? Never mind. Send them in. Anything to take my mind off of work. Well, well, well. You're awfully far from home, aren't you, little mortal? It must have been quite a journey. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, before you tell me what you want, I want to hear how you got here. You're still alive, so obviously didn't come here through the usual method. Ah, uh, so you went and summoned Bale, did you? Yes. Back in the day, he was quite a powerful ruler. I can see why you'd seek his help. But I conquered his realm long ago, and now he reports to me. It must have been a surprise when he said he'd take you to his master. Hmm? Oh, you thought he meant... You think I'm... Oh no, no 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 no. I'm not the ruler of hell. Though I do have dominion over a portion of it. My name? <laughs> it's awfully presumptuous of you to ask my name, seeing that you haven't given me your own. And you haven't even bowed to me yet. I forgave that oversight due to my curiosity. But if you don't want me to take your soul, I suggest you kneel and introduce yourself. Much better. I am surprisingly pleased to meet you. My name is Wonoskelis. I'm what's known as a demon lord. Basically, one of the upper crusts down here. The more followers a demon has, the more powerful they are. I've gathered a considerable number of demons under my banner in recent years. Keep that in mind when addressing me. Heh. <laughs> Your tone is much more respectful now. Good, good. Now, tell me why you're here. Sell your soul? <laughs> At one time, that would have been a tempting offer. But nowadays, the mortal realm is so bloated with humans that souls are as common as sulfur here. If anything, giving me your soul would just increase my workload. And I don't need any more on my plate. Ugh, don't beg. You look ridiculous, blubbering like that. Are you really expecting mercy from a demon? Ha! Leave? Oh no, you won't be leaving. Your fate was sealed the moment you left the mortal realm. You're right, I don't want you. So you can go and run around hell to your heart's content. Go be somebody else's problem. keep a straight face with you crying like that. I was kidding. I'm not just going to kick you out of my kingdom now that you're here. And I don't think you look ridiculous when you sob like that. You look hilarious. And maybe even a little bit cute. Oh, don't act so indignant. I'm just having a bit of fun. I'm a demon. I find human suffering immensely entertaining. Hmm? Oh no, I still don't want your soul. I meant what I said about being overrun as it is. But if you need a favor from me, 
there's another way you can earn it. You have a few choices, actually. Basically, I want you to take one of the more tedious jobs around here so I can free up a demon or two for more important tasks. Why don't I have some of the human souls do those jobs? Because then they wouldn't be suffering. At least not as much as they should. I take pride in my work. I'm not about to go easy on them because I've been entrusted with so many. But you're in a unique position. You aren't dead, nor did you sell me your soul. Well, not for lack of trying. But that means I have no obligation to torture you. So, let's look at the options here. Let's see. You could care for my hellhounds. They need to be fed, walked, and played with every day. Oh, does that sound like something you'd enjoy? I'm glad, because that would actually free more than one or two of my minions. I lose so many good workers to those mutts. What do I mean? Hellhounds aren't just regular dogs. They're about five feet at the shoulder, powerfully built, and vicious as a starving bear. To be honest, sometimes I wonder if it's worth keeping them around with how often their caretakers have accidents. But so many of the damned here have a fear of large animals. It makes it hard to justify getting rid of them. Oh, you've changed your mind? Shame. Well, what else? I could have you stoke the pit of fire. It's the place we keep the souls in between torture sessions. Yes, the name pretty much sums it up. Souls can't die since, you know, they're already dead. So we just toss them in there and they're pretty much in constant agony until we take them back out. Just keep them in there. I told you before, I take pride in my work. If you really want a human to suffer, you can't let them get adjusted to it. Anyways, you'd be helping to keep the fire burning as hot as possible, feeding it fuel, fanning the flames, etc. As you can imagine, it's hot as, well, hell. And it's back-breaking labor to boot. I actually used to make souls do it as a form of punishment, but you never know when one of them is going to decide they actually enjoy doing hard labor. You mortals are weird like that. So you don't think you're one of those? Fine, I had another job in mind. I could have you help with my work directly. I admit, I have some reservations about employing a non-demon tormentor. But I suppose I can at least give you a chance. That's right, a tormentor. You would be in charge of torturing some of the souls of the damned. Honestly, it's not terribly difficult, as long as you have a little creativity. Naturally, you'd be employing some of the classics. Stabbing with a pitchfork, branding with a hot iron, whipping, and so on. But psychological attacks are important too. You have access to their life's history, so you can suss out their phobias and shames. You'll do quite well. Oh my, you're looking pale. Relax, it's not like you're torturing innocent people. This is hell, remember? We get all the nastiest, most evil scum of the earth. Murderers, rapists, politicians, you name it. Really, you'd be performing a public service. Goodness, you're picky, aren't you? Well, those are the three jobs. Pick one fast, before I decide to take your soul after all. <laughs> oh, you're just too easy to mess with. <laughs> you looked like you were going to faint. That look of horror you have was just too perfect. Mm-hmm. It was all a joke. I'm not going to give you some horrifying task. I'm actually starting to like you, you see. I wouldn't mind having you as a court jester. 
But I wouldn't waste you on something frivolous like that. So, here's the real job offer. I want you to become my personal assistant. You see, I think I could find ways to make my torturing methods more efficient, less labor-intensive. But I'm getting so caught up in the daily drudgery of just keeping up with the demand that I don't have time to figure out how to innovate. But if I had someone to handle all the little things for me, then it would be a different story. Basically, your duties would be to travel around my kingdom, collect reports, and ensure quotas are being met, and deliver messages. It would be challenging, to be sure, but that sounds a lot better than my other suggestions, doesn't it? I mean, I suppose you could pick one of those if you really want. Oh, so you'll accept. I'm so glad to hear that. I was actually going to select one of my minions to do it, but you came along right as I came up with the idea. The timing was so perfect, it felt like fate. What's that? Oh, that's right. You came down here to make a deal. All right, tell me what you want from me. If it's in my power, I'll make it happen. Since I'm feeling generous, if I can't do it, I'll return you home safely. Huh. I wasn't expecting something so noble. Don't people usually pray to God about that sort of thing? Well, regardless. Although I can't exactly say you made the right choice by coming to me, I can tell you that I can definitely make that happen. In the meantime, my servant outside the door will show you to your new living quarters. Get some rest. I'll be training you on your new job tomorrow.